Hey guys, this is your host Kunjan D. Shinde. I welcome you all to my classes. Today's topic is realization of 8 is to 3 encoder. This is a second experiment in Verilog STL lab 15 ECL 58 as per VTU syllabus. So let us begin with this experiment and we'll see how to design and implement the 8 is to 3 encoder using Verilog HTL language. Encoder is a combinational logic circuit which has two power n inputs and n outputs. This circuit encodes the long length information into a smaller length information. As an example, we have 8 inputs are encoded into 3 outputs. Here, this circuit is also known as one hot code, which means one of the input is high at a given point in time, rest of the inputs are zero. Figure shows the block diagram of 8 is to 3 encoder, which has 8 inputs from I0 to I7 and it has 3 outputs as Y0 to Y2. Now, let us look into the truth table of 8 is to 3 encoder. As we know that the inputs are 8 bit in wide, so it starts from I7 to I0 where I7 is the MSB bit and I0 is the LSB bit with the outputs as Y2, Y1 and Y0, Y2 is the MSB and Y0 is the LSB bit. If I0 is high and rest of the bits are 0, it means that output will be 0, 0 and 0. It means that 0th bit is high. So moving on to the next combination, if I1 is high, at that point in time what happens is the output combination changes to 0, 0, 1, indicating the first bit is high in the sense I of 1 is high and similarly for rest of the combination. If I7 is high and the rest of the bits I6 to I0 are 0, it means that the 8th bit is high. So the output combination will be 1, 1, 1. Now if we want to generate a logic circuit out of this truth table, we need to consider the output equations. Say for y0, if you group 1 and write down the expressions, you will get the expression as i1, i3, i5 and i7. This is a simple OR operation and this will generate the signal y0. Similarly, for y1, it will be i2, i3 and i5, i7, uh, sorry, i6, i7, followed by y3 will, uh, y2 will be obtained by i4, i5, i6 and i7 or operation of this one. Now we have the logic diagram of the same as I explained earlier. Now let us write down the Verilog HDL code for 8 is to 3 encoder. Let us begin with the data flow modeling. Now as per the logic diagram we can see that output y is enabled only when i1, i3, i5 or i7 are high. It is a simple OR operation here. In Verilog STL, we can use a OR operation as a bar symbol which can be obtained by uh, using the operator shift and forward slash. So this will give you the OR operation. So assign is used to uh, incorporate the data flow modeling. So similarly, we are writing the equations for Y1 and Y2. Now let us see how to implement 8 is to 3 encoder using behavioral style of modeling for Verilog HTL coding. So we'll start with the keyword as module followed by module name and the terminal list. Y and I are the inputs and outputs of the uh, system. Now output is 2 down to 0, input is 7 down to 0, 8 bits and uh, it is considered as REG for the timing so that it can be updated in the always block. So here in behavioral style of modeling, we define the functionality in terms of the truth table that we observe. If the input combination is uh, 0, 0, 0, 1 or something. So with this input combination, the output should be 0, 0, 0. We define as per we see the truth table. Now the same thing is been incorporated here with the help of the case statement. Case statement helps us to uh, incorporate more and more number of scenarios for the input i. So here we have considered only eight number of scenarios starting from 0, 0, 0, 1 to 1, 0, 0, 0. Right, so this combination is just 8 combinations. There are plenty number of more combinations available to us which can be taken as a default scenario. For these other combinations, we don't need any sort of a result. So, uh, we'll be making use of a keyword as a default followed by the variable y 
then colon 3 tick b z so uh, so it will be a high impedance whenever we get the uh, other combination say uh, two or more bits are high at a time for the input i at that point in time we will get the output as high impedance so here as we are making use of uh, always block so always block has a sensitivity list sensitivity list in the sense this always block will be executed only when the occurrence of that particular input is available if the i input changes from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 any of any one of the input changes the always block is executed and whenever the always block changes the case statement is executed if i based on the condition of the i the output y is updated and hence this is how a behavioral style of coding works let us now look into the structural style of modeling for Verilog STL for the block 8 is to 3 encoder here in structural style what we do is we try to represent the logic circuit as it is available to us in the form of the uh, primitives or modules submodules that are available to us in Verilog STL hey guys like and share this video with your friends and colleagues if you like the video give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think about the video in the comments below subscribe to my channel for more updates now let us start with simulation and we'll see how the circuit is getting implemented go to file click on new project give the file name click on next next now click on new source give the file name for the time being i will give it here as a encoder click on next next finish after completing this copy the file that i have written earlier for the program so let us start with the data flow modeling we will copy down save it open synthesis double click on check syntax once the check syntax is successfully completed right click on the source file new source test bench waveform module then give a file name click on next next and finish S simulation initialization window will appear click on finish now elaborate the i input once you have elaborated that you can see there are total eight number of inputs let us start to apply the inputs for this one so what we'll do is we'll simply make the first bit as high and uh, we'll make the rest of its uh, output as zero so we'll be having the pattern as one followed by many zeros for the second input we'll make it as zero one then followed by many uh, zeros so it will look like a step now as you can see here which will apply for all the inputs so with this what we are doing is we are enabling only one input at a time whereas keeping the other input zero so whenever that particular input occurs we will be able to get the corresponding output as uh, from once you have applied the input save it go to behavioral simulation select uh, ISC simulator then double click on simulate behavioral model so after this we will be able to see the results as we can see the results now elaborate uh, i and y i inputs and uh, y outputs so now we can see for the combination combination 0 0 0 we have i, I of 0 enabled and similarly for all other combinations we can verify similarly let us create a new source for a behavioral style of modeling so let us create this file and we will copy paste the file that we have written earlier in the earlier file we have made a small mistake the first input combination is 0 0 it should be 0 0 0 follow at the last uh, LSB it should be 1 so I have uh, also written a comment here kindly make a note of this and make the necessary changes once you have made this uh, save it again follow the same procedure uh, save create a file for simulation and then check syntax and then simulate the file right with this we can see the results are available to us similarly we will create a file for structural modeling also now copy paste the code save it run the procedure and observe the output with all these scenarios we can see that the output does not changes and it remains the same 
okay let us now uh, copy down this result somewhere safe now you can see all the possible combinations and its outputs are available to us hence we can verify the functionality of a 3 is to 8 decoder here i have uh, rewritten the code for a 3 is to 8 decoder using data flow behavioral and structural styling you can refer this for your hey guys this is your host kunjan d shinde i thank you all for your patience do support us by sharing this video with your friends and colleagues like it and uh, do subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you all